Patrick Yore is a media analyst at Peel Hunt. What do you make of the buyback, first of all? When I spoke to the CEFO, uh, there was an indication that I said, well, maybe with a shared buyback scheme, News Corporation could actually increase its, uh, its um, uh, shareholding. He said, it was very specific, no, that will not happen. It will be pro rata. They will stay at 39%. But £750 million, pounds, a little disappointing. I, I don't think so. I think that the buyback is a, is a good signal about returning cash to shareholders, uh, reinvigorating the, the growth story around the business, uh, and is a statement of confidence for the future. When you, could, when you take that into account with the dividend increase as well of 20%, which was uh, quite punchy, we thought, um, it's, I think it signals a, a, a good story going forward. For you did say it, it would be quite difficult, that share buyback, uh, with the CFA when I spoke to him, Mr Griffiths, a moment mm -hmm. ago. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about how, how, how easy or difficult it is, but the, the market has obviously taken it well. Um, and and the, the key thing is that uh, news corporation are, are going to be done on, on a pro rata basis so that their stake remains the same in the company. Where does B Sky B go from here? Do you think this, at the moment, is a company in limbo? I don't think so. If, you, if, we, if we take the bid speculation and the bid situation away from the company, what we've seen is continued growth coming through. Um, although the, uh, the overall headline subscriber numbers have, have moved up marginally, what's in, important it, for us is, is the number of customers which are taking more than one product. And I think in the statement they said today, 2.8 million customers, or 27% of the customer base, now take all three products, which means that there's still considerable room for growth, in our view, uh, to, to drive that customer number up. And do you expect uh, a news corporation ever to try to go back in and, and, and take full control at some point in the future? What would it take for them to do that? I think they really need to resolve the situation around the hacking scandal first. This uh, takes the, the, the bid situation away from the table for another six months at least, and it gives them time to sort out their issues before potentially coming back again. Do you think it would be better for News Corporation, uh, for, for B-Sky B to now stand alone as, uh, as an independent company to actually put pressure on, B uh, on News Corporation to reduce its stake? You were surprised that James Murdoch continues to be chairman. This would have been a good opportunity, would it not, to draw a line after all this? Uh, perhaps so. I think that uh, the board have been uh, uh, continued to, to, to support James Murdoch. I think that the, um, you know, the, the, the situation about, around corporate governance should now be laid to rest to some degree. But um, Sky has always functioned well uh, as in, in its current format. It's continued to drive growth, and we, we see that continuing going forward. And where do you see the share price heading towards or dropping back to? What's your, what's your estimates on that one? We, we have a share price target around £7.70 at the moment, and that's predicated on the growth coming through the company. Um, so. and, but that's quite interesting, wasn't it? Because at the moment, the share price is I think, around about seven twenty. Yeah. Of course, seven pounds was the initial offer by Murdoch. Do you still think that the growth thing will actually push that price up and give that return to uh, shareholders? I think so. It's worth remembering that the independent directors um, suggested that eight pounds would be the minimum level that they would accept an offer for anyway. And, and it went to eight pound fifty during the uh, it, bid it, process. It did indeed. But uh, looking at where the, the company is now, we don't think it's an expensively rated stock in an in a increasingly tricky consumer environment. It looks very well positioned and, in, in our view, is, is quite defensive in nature. Is BSKB recession-proof? I wouldn't say it's recession-proof, but I think Cause it's... Because it's, it's, it's managed to, to increase its revenue year on year on year, even through 2008, 2009, and it's still looking great as we go forward. Sure. If you look at what's happening to the consumer, if the consumer is under pressure and looking to stay at home more and cut back on discretional spending, then the demand for entertainment is still there. And clearly, if you can provide that content and, and, and the entertainment that people want in the home, then you're well positioned as a company. Now, Mr Griffiths did tell me that a number of directors will be stepping down come the autumn and it's AGM. Do you think that will change any sort of direction for B-Sky B as we move forward? I wouldn't have thought so. I think the, the overall strategy has been set. They've executed very well against that strategy to date. So I don't expect any major changes to the direction of the company. Okay, Patrick, you're always good to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed for Thank joining you. us.